So you've picked a mattress, and you've picked a bed frame, and now you've got this. Can I put my mattress on it just like this? No, stop, don't do it. I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. So I'm sure by now you've thought of a box spring. And you're not wrong, but the thought is kind of incomplete. What is a box spring? Well, up until the 80s and the first half of the 90s, almost every mattress that was made was primarily an inner spring mattress. So in addition to the springs in the mattress, it also relied on the springs that were in the box spring to help with support and pressure relief. In fact, that's where it got its name. A box spring was a box filled with springs. But almost every mattress manufactured in the last 10 years doesn't need a box filled with springs. But what makes it confusing is that a lot of manufacturers still call them box springs, even though there's no springs in, in them anymore. It's really just a foundation, something to raise the height and provide support for the mattress. One option is to get some plywood like I did here and screw it onto something sturdy like 2x4s. Depending on how handy you are, that may or may not be a good option. But it's one of those things that always takes longer than you'd expect to cut it to size, screw it to the right pieces, and get it in place. And as you can see, it's still not a perfect fit when I tried it. If you have one of these, you don't need a box spring or a bunky board. This is a platform bed, and it has all of the slats built in, so you can put the mattress right on top. If you're interested in this particular model, I'll put a link in the description box. A lot of bed frames are like this. Three or four crossbars, and that's all there is. Especially older wooden ones or sleigh beds like I have. And no, you can't put your mattress directly on this. If you did, it would sag between the crossbars, and frankly, it's probably going to void the warranty anyway, which needs something closer together. So I'm going to give you a couple solutions to that problem. So here's an example of a foundation. This is the Zenus 4-inch bifold box spring, and I have it unzipped so you can see that even though it's called a box spring, there's no springs involved. It's really just a foundation to raise the height of the mattress. And other than that, it's just got a bunch of sturdy crossbars to support the mattress. It's called bifold because you can fold it in half when you're storing it or move it around. I'm showing you this low angle so that you can see this particular foundation just barely peeks out over the edge of our particular bed frame. Of course, you'll need to measure for yours. I did a review of this particular foundation a while back. You can click the card in the top right corner for more details on that or check out the description box. This is the Zenus Ghoulzar Bunky Board in queen size. And as you can see, it sits inside the existing bed frame, but adds more slats to it so that there's never more than about four inches between any given slats. You'll see a couple of the bars have a white tape on them, that's just an optional slip resistant tape that you can use if you want to to prevent your mattress from moving around. It's a great solution if you need extra support, but you don't want to raise the height of your mattress much. This bunky board was quick and easy to put together. If you want more details on this particular one, check the card in the top right hand corner. The only practical difference between a bunky board and a box spring is the height. A box spring, called a foundation nowadays, will raise the mattress height off of the bed frame depending on what size you get, your desired amount of inches. Some are low profile, some are a little higher profile, and they provide enough crossbars to provide adequate support. A bunky board provides the same function but without raising the height more than the nominal amount that it has inherently. So it still has the correct amount of crossbars to prevent sagging and provide adequate support. In our case, my wife and I are currently sleeping on a 14 inch thick Dream Cloud mattress. And since it's a thicker mattress, we didn't want to raise the height very much. Right now, it's sitting on that bunky board that I showed you. 
so it's been raised hardly at all. I think it's the perfect height. I have my feet on the ground and it's just right. What do you think? To see more tips on setting up your mattress and bed frame, click the round icon with my face so that you can subscribe to this channel. Take a look at the description box. I'll list three different box springs and three different bunkie boards that you can take a look at. Click right over here for my earlier review and click right down here for my review of the Ghoul Czar Bunkie Board. Doug out!